Welcome to another video on our channel, where we share testimonies of people who have experienced near-death events and other spiritual revelations. Today, we're diving into the remarkable story of Wen Valero. Wen claims he died, only to discover that the life we live is far from what we believe it to be. Before we listen to Wen's testimony, make sure to subscribe to our channel, leave a comment with your name and city, and share your thoughts with us. Wen's journey is a deeply personal one, revealing a transformation from skepticism to an eye-opening encounter with a truth that challenges perception of reality. If you're ready to explore a story that might make you rethink everything you know about life and existence, let's delve into Wen Valera's near-death experience and the lessons he learned along the way. Let's listen to Wen's story. Wen Valera's life was, by most standards, ordinary. He was a 42-year-old accountant living in a quiet city, much like the ones many of us know. His days were filled with numbers, deadlines, and the routine of a medium-sized company where he had been working for several years. Wen lived with his wife, Maria, to whom he had been married for 15 years. They shared a home with their loyal dog, Rex, and often hosted visits from Wen's younger sister, Laura. As we move deeper into Wen's story, we invite you to keep an open mind. His experiences might challenge your beliefs or make you question your own perceptions of life and death. But whether you're a skeptic or a believer, Wen's story has the power to make you think, to open your eyes to the possibility that life is more than just a series of events. It's a journey, a process of growth, and a quest for truth. Wen Valera's turning point came on a cold, dark Friday night. He had just returned home from what felt like the longest day of his life. The stress from work was unbearable, and his relationship with Maria had hit a rough patch, leaving their home filled with tension. Wen felt like he was at his breaking point, completely overwhelmed by the chaos around him. This wasn't the life he had envisioned, and in that moment, the thought of escaping his pain seemed like the only way out. He made a decision that night, one that he had never considered before. Feeling lost and hopeless, Wen reached into the bathroom cap, and as he moved closer to the light, he knew that his life, his beliefs, and his understanding of the world were about to change forever. As Wen drifted closer to the light at the end of the tunnel, he felt a profound shift within him. This wasn't just an ordinary light, it was something more powerful, something alive. It pulsed with energy, casting off waves of warmth and love that seemed to envelop him entirely. It was like nothing he had ever experienced before. The light felt like it was calling to him, inviting him to move closer, to embrace it with an open heart. For a moment, Wen hesitated. All his life he had been a man of logic, reason, and skepticism. The idea that this light could be something more than a trick of his mind was difficult for him to accept. But as he inched closer, he realized that this wasn't just light, it was a presence. A presence that seemed to know him, to understand everything about him, and yet loved him without condition. As Wen reached the light, he felt as though he was being held in a warm embrace. This light didn't just surround him, it entered his very being, filling him with a sense of peace and acceptance he had never known. He felt like all the fears, doubts, and pain he had carried throughout his life were being washed away, leaving only a feeling of pure love and compassion. Then, to his amazement, he heard a voice. But this voice didn't come from outside of him. It seemed to rise up from within. It was his own voice, yet different, full of wisdom, clarity, and understanding. The voice spoke to him gently, as if it had all the time in the universe. It said, everything you know as reality is a simulation. The physical world, time, space. All of it is a construct designed to keep you from seeing the true nature of existence. Wen was stunned by these words. A simulation? The idea was so foreign, so far beyond anything he had ever considered. Yet, in that moment, as the light surrounded him, it all made sense. It was as if a veil had been lifted, revealing a reality that had always been there, just out of sight. The voice continued, explaining that human beings are multidimensional creatures, capable of existing in many realities at once, far beyond the physical world they know. As he listened, Wen felt a sense of awe and humility. He realized that the life he had known was just one part of a much larger journey, 
all the struggles, the doubts, the pain he had experienced. They were all part of his growth, a way for him to learn and evolve as a soul. This revelation filled him with a deep sense of purpose, as if he was seeing his life in a completely new light. The light then began to show when the interconnectedness of all things. He saw how every action, every thought, and every emotion he ever had was linked to something much greater than himself. It was as if he was seeing the fabric of the universe, each thread representing a different person, a different soul, all woven together into a beautiful, intricate design. He understood that we are all connected, that our lives touch one another in ways we can't even begin to imagine. This moment of clarity was overwhelming, but in the best way possible. Wen felt like he had been given a gift, a chance to see beyond the illusions of the material world. The light revealed to him that death, as we understand it, does not exist. It's merely a transition, a change of state, where our consciousness continues to evolve and expand. Filled with this newfound knowledge, Wen also felt a wave of sadness. He thought about all the time he had spent chasing after things that no longer seemed important. The worries, the fears, the endless pursuit of success. All of it seemed so small in comparison to the vastness of the universe he was now aware of. But the light comforted him, reassuring him that every experience, whether good or bad, was valuable. Each moment was a lesson, a step forward on the journey of growth and understanding. Before the light began to fade, it left Wen with one final message. The voice said, Remember when you are not just what you think you are. You are much more, and you have the power to shape your reality. Use this knowledge wisely. With those words echoing in his mind, the light slowly retracted, leaving Wen with a sense of peace and clarity that he had never known before. After his profound encounter with the light, Wen found himself floating in a state of stillness. But just when he thought his journey had come to an end, he was suddenly thrust into a life review unlike anything he could have imagined. It wasn't like the quick flash of memories you see in movies. It was much more vivid, more real. It was as if he was reliving each significant moment of his life all over again, but this time with a deeper level of understanding. The first scenes that played out were the happiest moments of his life. He felt the joy of his childhood, the laughter of playing with friends, the excitement of his first kiss, and the pride of his accomplishments. These moments were filled with warmth and love, and he relived them not just as memories but as full experiences, feeling every emotion as if it were happening for the first time. But then, the scenes change. He began to relive the painful moments, the arguments with Maria, the times he had been selfish or hurtful, the moments he wished he could take back. What struck Wen the most was how these moments affected not only him but the people around him. He could feel their pain, their sadness, their disappointment as if their emotions were his own. It was like seeing his life through the eyes of others, understanding for the first time the impact his actions had on those he loved. Wynne realized that every choice he made, no matter how small, created ripples that affected the lives of those around him. He saw how his anger or impatience could hurt Maria, how his words could either uplift or wound his sister Laura, and how even his dog, Rex, could sense his moods and react to them. He understood that his life was not lived in isolation. Every action, every thought, had consequences that reached far beyond himself. But this life review wasn't about punishment or judgment. There was no sense of guilt or shame, only an opportunity to learn and grow. Wynne realized that he wasn't being judged for his mistakes, instead, he was being given the chance to understand them, to see them from a different perspective. He saw how his failures and missteps were part of his journey guiding him toward a greater awareness and a deeper understanding of what it means to be human. As the review continued, Wen was struck by the moments of kindness and love he had shared with others. He saw how a simple smile to a stranger, a kind word to a friend, or a helping hand to someone in need had a far greater impact than he ever realized. He felt the gratitude, the joy, and the hope that these small gestures had brought to others and he understood that these were the moments that truly mattered. This life review was both humbling and uplifting. Wen saw the mistakes he had made, but he also saw the good he had done, the love he had shared, and the lives he had touched. He realized that while he couldn't change the past, he could learn from it. 
He could take these lessons with him and use them to live a more meaningful, compassionate life in the future. By the end of the life review, Wen felt emotionally drained, but also deeply transformed. He had gained a new appreciation for the power of his actions, the importance of his words, and the impact he had on the world around him. He understood that every moment was a chance to make a difference, to choose love over fear, kindness over anger, compassion over judgment. Wen knew that this experience had changed him forever. He saw his life not just as a series of disconnected events, but as a journey, a process of learning and growth. He realized that every choice, every action, every thought had the power to shape not only his own life, but the lives of everyone he touched. And with this understanding, he felt ready to move forward, to take the lessons he had learned and use them to create a better future for himself and for those he loved. Just when Wen thought his journey was coming to an end, he was catapulted into another extraordinary experience, an exploration of his past lives. He found himself no longer in the present, but immersed in scenes from other times, other places, living different lives that he had never known he had. This was more than a flashback, it was as if he had been transported into these past lives, experiencing them with all the emotions, thoughts, and sensations that came with each identity. The first life he entered was as a wealthy businessman in a hotel room, sitting on the edge of the bed, holding a revolver. The despair he felt in that moment was overwhelming, a deep sadness that seemed to have no end. Wen watched helplessly as this man, who was also himself, made the heartbreaking decision to end his own life. He felt the anguish, the hopelessness, and the regrets that led to that moment, and he understood how the choices in that life had left a mark on his soul. The scene shifted, and Wen found himself aboard a whaling ship in the 19th century, surrounded by the vast ocean. He was a sailor, rough and determined, driven by the hunt for whales. He felt the thrill of the chase, but also a deep-seated guilt for taking the lives of these magnificent creatures. He saw the blood-stained waters and the toll it took on his spirit. He realized that even in this life his actions had far-reaching consequences that affected not just the whales but also the natural world and the people who depended on it. In another life, Wen found himself on a beach, an old man sitting with two children at his side. He was filled with regret, a sense of sorrow for the mistakes he had made, the lives he had touched in ways he wished he could undo. He looked into the eyes of his children and saw their love mixed with disappointment, and he knew that the choices he had made in that life had shaped not only his destiny but also theirs. He felt the weight of his decisions, the impact of his actions rippling through time, affecting generations to come. These glimpses into past lives were both enlightening and painful for Wen. He saw patterns that repeated across different lifetimes. Patterns of regret, fear, courage, and love. He realized that the lessons he hadn't learned in one life carried over to the next, giving him another chance to grow, to evolve, to become better. He saw how his soul's journey was not limited to one existence but spanned many, each life a chapter in a story that was still being written. Wen also saw moments of redemption, acts of kindness, and instances where he had made a positive difference in the lives of others. He felt the joy of giving, the warmth of love, and the peace that came from living a life aligned with compassion and empathy. These moments shone like beacons in his past guiding him toward the realization that his purpose was not just to exist, but to learn to grow, and to make the world a little better for having been in it. This experience of past lives gave Wen a profound sense of continuity. He realized that his current life was not an isolated event, but part of a much larger journey. The challenges he faced, the relationships he formed, and even his struggles with skepticism and despair were all pieces of a puzzle that was slowly coming together. He understood that his soul was on a path of evolution, learning through each experience, each mistake, and each triumph. By the end of this journey through past lives, Wen felt both humbled and empowered. He knew that the choices he made in this life would echo into the future. Just as the choices from his past lives had shaped his present, he felt a deep sense of responsibility, not just for his own growth, but for the impact he would have on the world and the people he loved. He understood that his actions were not isolated, they were threads in a tapestry that connected all of existence. 
This realization filled Wen with a renewed sense of purpose. He knew that his journey was far from over, and that each day was an opportunity to choose love, kindness, and compassion over fear, anger, and selfishness. He felt grateful for the chance to live again, to learn from his past, and to use those lessons to create a better future. He understood that life was not just about surviving, it was about evolving, becoming more than he ever thought possible. As Wen's journey through his past lives came to an end, he found himself back in the present, but still outside of his physical body. He was now floating above his own lifeless form, lying on the sofa where he had collapsed after taking the pills and whiskey. The scene was haunting, his body still, the bottle of pills scattered on the floor, the room filled with an air of finality. But what struck Wen the most was the impact this scene would have on the people he loved. He watched as his wife, Maria, came home, calling out his name, expecting a response that never came. When she saw him lying there, her face contorted in terror, her eyes filled with a pain that cut Wen to his core. He saw her drop to her knees beside him, shaking him, baiting him to wake up. Her hands trembled as she dialed the emergency number, her voice breaking as she pleaded for help. Wen's heart ached as he saw the impact his actions had on Maria. He realized that his decision to give up on life wasn't just affecting him. It was tearing apart the lives of those who loved him. He saw the devastation on his sister Laura's face when she got the news, the disbelief that turned into anger and hurt. He saw how even his dog, Rex, lay quietly by his side, refusing to leave, sensing the sadness that filled the room. The paramedics arrived, working desperately to revive him. Wen saw the struggle, the frantic efforts to bring him back to life. He felt every ounce of Maria's fear, her desperation, her hope that somehow he would open his eyes and come back to her. And then he saw something even more profound, the future that would unfold if he didn't make it. Wen saw a future where Maria was left alone, years passing by as she tried to move on from the loss. He saw his family shattered, the dreams they had shared together left unfulfilled. He saw in meets who would never know her uncle, a family forever marked by his absence. And through it all, he felt the pain, the sorrow, the deep void that his absence would create. It was in that moment that Wen realized the true power of choice. He understood that even in the darkest of moments, when all hope seemed lost, he still had the ability to decide, to choose between surrendering to the darkness or fighting his way back to the light. He saw that his life wasn't just his own. It was intertwined with the lives of everyone he loved, everyone who would be affected by his decision. The pull of the light, the invitation to move forward into the unknown was strong. It was tempting to let go, to surrender to the peace that lay beyond. But when thought of Maria, of her unwavering love, of the life they had built together, and the dreams they still had to fulfill. He thought of Laura, of the family that needed him, of the future that was yet to be written. In that moment, Wen made his choice. He decided to fight, to pull himself back from the brink, to hold on to the life that still held so much meaning. He focused all his energy on the reasons he wanted to live, on love, on hope, on the promise of a future that was still possible. He fought against the darkness, pushing his way back to the surface, back to the world that he now knew was filled with infinite possibilities. With a sudden jolt, Wen felt himself being pulled back into his body, like being sucked into a vortex and thrown into the harsh reality of pain and sensation. He opened his eyes to see Maria's tear-streaked face, her eyes wide with shock and relief. She was holding his hand, whispering his name, calling him back to life with her love and her hope. The journey back was painful, both physically and emotionally. His body screamed in protest, every cell aching, every nerve on fire. But through it all, Wen felt a sense of triumph, a sense that he had been given a second chance. He had faced the darkness, seen the light, and returned with a knowledge that would change his life forever. As the paramedics rushed into the hospital, Wen knew that his life would never be the same. He had touched the edge of existence, glimpsed the truth that lay beyond, and come back with a message, a message that life is a gift, that every moment is precious, and that the power to choose is the greatest gift of all.